We're in Brisbane at the Lyric Theatre. We're just about to open Romeo and Juliet. The last time we were here was with Gray and Murphy's Silver Rose, which is two years ago. We do a lot of travelling and it's fantastic, like we're very lucky but it's always travelling for work. Like people are always like, oh, New York, and I'm like, it's, um, it, it's a work trip and it's very short. <laughs> we'll land, we'll perform and we'll get back on the plane. <laughs> My spot is always set up exactly the same no matter where I go. I don't know why but it's just something that I've done since day one. My photos are kind of the thing that set it up and make it feel like home and that my loved ones are with me all the time. It's my preparation and in some ways the mental state that I kind of get in. We've had general classes each day. It's kind of one of those things where you just, you grab a spot and you kind of swing a leg wherever you can. Sometimes we hang off the piano, which is probably not ideal. <laughs> you know, it's hard because your ballet class is what sets you up for the day. The theatre is your home. Dressing rooms are there, rehearsals are there, Pilates, you know, physio. It is a little bit more downsized, but I think you, you can make do though. Everyone has the different superstitious things they do, and I certainly have a lot of them. The last thing I do before leaving to go onto stage is like lipstick, and then I make sure I put perfume on, and I, I kind of always wear the same. If I have a day where I wear one of my other ones, then for that whole season I kind of have to keep that perfume. So my routine is very much the same, no matter how long or short the season is or where we are. 